this week in Michigan football history. Today we head back to November 14th, 1942, a very special day for the two most storied programs in college pigskin history, namely your beloved Wolverines and our friends from South Bend, Notre Dame. To understand the significance of this day 78 years ago, we first have to go all the way back to an incident in 1910 that impacted the college football landscape for decades to come. You see, Michigan was set to face the Irish on a football Saturday, November 5th, 1910, but there was a problem as the game approached. The folks in Ann Arbor took a hard look at Notre Dame's roster and learned that two key players were in their seventh year playing college football and another was ineligible in his fourth season. The Wolverines filed an official protest to Notre Dame and in the week leading up, the athletic authorities at both schools debated the rules, first with each other and then in the press. On the Friday afternoon, the day before the scheduled battle, the athletic directors met for one last try to settle the issue. Neither side backed down, and the Michigan's athletic director canceled the game literally hours before kickoff. Years later, the rivalry simmered off the field between icons Fielding H. Yost and Newt Rockney, fueling the fire and the refusal to schedule each other on the gridiron despite the proximity of our two schools. The bad blood would not heal for another three decades, and that brings us to this week in Michigan football history, namely November 14th, 1942, when the rivalry finally resumed. Michigan Athletic Director and Head Coach Fritz Chrysler arranged with Notre Dame's Elmer Layden for two games to be played with the Irish during the 1942 and 1943 seasons. The 1942 game was played in South Bend and pitted the number four ranked Wolverines against the six ranked Irish. Over 57,000 fans watched Notre Dame strike first, scoring a pair of TDs in the first half. Michigan countered with a pair of its own TDs, including a widely touchdown on a fake field goal but trailed 14 to 13 midway through the game but the second half was all Michigan and the maize and blue rallied for 19 points in the third all told the Irish surrendered the ball six times on turnovers and the visitors from Ann Arbor rushed for over 300 yards and the 32 to 20 win for the victors valiant so once again the axis of the college football world was restored as the team who taught Notre Dame how to play football back in 1887 once again delivered a lesson, this time with a 32 to 20 beating as the regular meeting of the natural enemies resumed. So go blue, to hell with Notre Dame, beat the Badgers, and for more, check out mvictors.com and wtka.com. For the Key Bank Countdown to kick off, this is Greg Dooley.